Hello and welcome to the second upload of the day that is Wednesday. In this video I'm going to be discussing every issue there is with FIFA Mobile. Now I'm going to start with some minor issues. That is the VIP system. Because it's basically a more glorified free to play system. Or free to play system, sorry. Because you can earn VIP points, but you can also earn them by buying FIFA points. And what do you get? Coins, gems, which are basically lesser FIFA points. Back tiers, special offers that you need to buy with real money again. Which is actually insane that these, this company does it. Is. You actually need to pay money to spend money. That's actually incredible how far this company will go. And you also purchase this, which is, in my opinion, bad. Removes the 5% market task. Are you serious, guys? Like, that's really unfair. Me, myself, I have never bought FIFA points. So, these are 5 million coins. Like, seriously, this is stupid. That's the minor issue out of the way. Now there are some bigger issues, in my opinion. Or maybe I just stick to small ones. Because this event expired. This event also expired. But the freaking quest won't go away. I have to scroll now. Which is bad. Now let's go to head to head. The reason I haven't played head to head because a, they are bots, and B, most people are, sorry for the language, cunts that play like hunts. Because I really don't know a better term to explain this. Because these cunts just somehow score a goal. And then you never, ever, ever, never, never get the ball from them. I have seen countless balls surrendered. I have actually never experienced it myself. Also, another minor issue is that there is no friendly head-to-head. -head. The only feature we actually wanted, the only feature that we wanted, is to head-to-head -head with friends. Because that's the thing PES does that FIFA Mobile doesn't. PES has. PES. PES has actual matchmaking with head-to-head -head features. What? Actually insane what EA don't do. So another main issue, domination is the same. But events overall, if I would say myself, daily warm-up is better, but the kit system is meh. Campaign, in my opinion, is on the same level. You don't earn as many players, but in my opinion, it's maybe more fun. And there are weekly campaigns. Team of the week is a bit meh. But they needed to keep the people engaged for the new achievement system, which is basically quests. Scouting is better. But we need more leagues immediately. Team Heroes is way, way, way better. I think it's one of the best designed ones. Domination, as I've already said. It's the same as last season. Champions League should be like the World Cup mode where you choose a team and lead them to Champions League glory. Expect some like Club Bruges or Victory Pills and Road to Glory soon. Also, the stamina system is the, in the game, but if there are no grinding events, I'm okay with it. Like, limited events, if you know what I mean. Not like. Uh, football freeze from last year when there was like 2.5k coins and a chance to win some tokens. Then I'm okay with it. If we can earn XP from it, 
I will be okay with it even if it's a grinding event because there is so much stamina to earn. You basically earn 100, no, 200 stamina if you actually complete a full set of stamina and then level up, which is very good. Now the star. As you can see, there is still this freaking bonus elite player. I don't know why. Every pack should be purchasable with gems. There's that is also issue. Or coins. I don't want to buy premium packs with gems. There is a scouting pack that costs 2.5k gems. Why can't you make a premium pack 2.5k gems also? I think there is no issue in that. Season of War packs are okay. Free packs are pretty good still. Coin prices are insane. Gems are just less than FIFA points. I've already said that. Leaks have improved on a major level. There is the Dybala, which is quite kind of mad, I need to say, because it's just an 80 overall elite. That's it. But these, I think, are good. These boost bundles for 600. League points because you can earn league points basically everywhere. And now the big, big problems burst attack. Burst attack, I actually have a series on burst attack. In my opinion, it isn't really bad. But if a person ends, then the other person should immediately end and not have eight extra seconds to score another goal. I have experienced it myself and I have been on the receiving end and have someone received that. And I actually felt bad when I scored two goals and I actually won thanks to this glitch. I think it needs to be immediately fixed. Also, I think we need more events or just launch the Champions League like on the 1st of December, which would be pretty good. Also another major issue is with the kits, but that's not a big issue, because I want my Everton kit, I don't want this thing, I don't even know what, I don't want to wear Embran Pendente, Juventus, Melbourne Victory, some of this team, Normal Thoughts, Anderlecht, Zaragoza, Austrovian. Some I don't know want to wear these kits. I want to wear my kids. I want to wear my team's kits. And graphics low. I was on very low. What the hell? Okay. That's also bull crap. I actually set my graphics to very low so it doesn't lag. But it turns on the freaking low! What? That is insanely bad. Also, the pegouts are complete bullcrap. Like, seriously. One gold plus scouting and 50. Why is there no odds for 50 to 500? Why is there a need to add the thing that there are 100% scouting points? I want to know how many. Not freaking 50. Also, you can actually pick 90 plus scouting players. They are actually missing normal scouting players. Jesus Christ, why do you do this? Why? Why EA? What the hell is so wrong with the normal rewards? Also, they have nerfed the team of the week pack. I don't actually know why. Seriously. And also this doesn't make sense. Because there is a 70 plus overall team of the week reserve player. 79%. 70 plus overall player team of the week starter. 19%. If you had 79 and 19, it's 2%. Sorry. There are 2% missing. Are you telling me that the 80 plus 
R2%, but I shouldn't have to guess, because I should know what the exact odds are. What the hell, EA? If you add pack odds, add them either clearly, or not add them at all. It's the freaking same with normal FIFA. Yeah, you have a 99 chance of picking a 2 plus. And then, like a 2% chance of a 90 plus. And what the chances in the between are? I want to know. Because seriously, this game is so screwed up. So a lot of people have been complaining about the gameplay. There are a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot of issues with this. Like, for example, you can actually, actually buy coins with FIFA points, but that's normal. Also, you can buy experience, which shouldn't be allowed. Elite players. Like, why do you do this? This is wrong on so many levels. And also, Break Friday was a mess. Just a freaking mess. It was such a free to play, free to play event, or spe or rather pay to pay to win. Sorry, I can't speak. Pay to win event. I actually can't stand it. You actually had to pay a five hundred point fee just, just to have the opportunity of getting. 83 max overall. I actually didn't know how did Smoothie get to 93 overall base. But then I realized, then I actually am informed that if you buy the 500 point 92 max overall offer, you actually get an offer for 93 max overall, which was 1000 freaking points. What are you thinking? There is no sane person that could buy this offer just for a freaking mobile game. I can understand something that is worth, like a game, for example. At least you get some entertainment, but not freaking max overall in fucking FIFA. Seriously. And also, it's going to get replaced like in not maybe a month, maybe a few weeks. There is a new overall, and you. Have spent your money on basically nothing. Congratulations! You have done fuck all! Sorry, sorry. I need to calm down from this. I really, I really need to, I maybe have anger. No, not like real anger problems, but some rant problems. But this will be basically everything that is wrong. The VIP system. The gameplay, worst attack. Come to the think of it, everything is wrong. And I didn't see, even talk about the market. Because there is no reason to talk about the market. Because basically is you have to sell below the lowest bid price. Because there is a bot. You never actually interact with real players. Except when you bid. That's everything. Where you interact in the market with other players. I know PEA don't want coin buyers. But seriously, can you make an open market with price ranges? You know what? I want price ranges. I don't care how hated the price range system is. I know it isn't perfect, but at least people can list for people and not bots are listing for people and people are listing for bot because there is just one bot that buys it and that is the EA bot like seriously fix the market okay I'm now going to end thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time on FIFA Mobile Bye-bye.